Hello and good morning and welcome to our subject which is TLE Technology and Livelihood Education 7. Welcome to this video and our topic is cookery so we are in module 2 this is the second quarter cleaning and sanitizing and our learning outcome is after reading these modules the learner should be able to 1. Select various types of chemicals for cleaning and sanitizing, kitchen tools, equipment, and paraphernalia. Then the second is clean and sanitize kitchen tools and equipment. Following ma manufacturer's instruction. 3. Use cleaning tools, equipment, and paraphernalia in accordance to standard operating procedure or SOP. So get your modules and... Join me in this video so that all the answers on your modules will be all questions in your modules will be answered. Okay, so first answer the what's in activity direction with your knowledge on the type of kitchen tools and equipment and their functions. Identify 10 kitchen tools and equipment that you will use if you ask to cook the recipe below. Write your answers in your TLA notebook. Okay. Then the second is what's new. Activity. COVID-19 is a very serious matter nowadays. This pandemic urges to everyone observe proper sanitation. To stop the spread of the virus, proper hand washing therefore is one of the way to keep oneself cleaning and keep us from being infected. If we do not wash our hands, we may transfer the virus by touching the kitchen tools equipment when we cook. Does it also very necessary to clean and sanitize our kitchen tools and equipment and other paraphernalia to keep us safe? Okay, so word puzzle activity one. Five words. Find the five words in the puzzle that found in your kitchen's area that are to be cleaned and sanitized. Write your answers in your TLO notebook. Okay, five words. What is it? Guide question. What is for you the difference between cleaning and sanitizing? If you ask to clean and sanitize kitchen tools, equipment, and paraphernalia, what are things you need to use? So, cleaning and sanitizing. When we say cleaning and sanitizing, maybe the most important aspect of sanitation program. Improperly cleaned and sanitized areas allow harmful microorganisms to be transferred from one food to another food. Cleaning. When we say cleaning, it is the process of removing unwanted smell, dust, dirt, or stain from the surface. Cleaning is done with the cleaning agents that remove food, soil, and other substances on a food contact surface. A food contact surface is a surface of equipment or utensils that food normally comes into a contact. When using cleaning agents, the level must be checked if the product can be used and does not leave an unsafe residue on the food contact surface. Then, cleaning agents are divided into four categories. Detergent, solvent, solvent cleaner, acid cleaner, abrasive cleaner. So, detergent are used to wash tableware surface and there's equipment. Detergent can penetrate soil quickly. And soften its example include liquid and face dishwashing detergent. Solvent cleaner are used on the surface where grease has burned. And solvent cleaners are often called disgreaser, oven grilled, and range top are example of areas that need frequent disgreasing. Then the third is acid cleaner are used resolving minerals, deposit, and other salts detergent cannot remove. These cleaners are often used to remove dirt and steam in wear washing machine and steam tables. Abrasive cleaners are used to remove heavy collected soil that is difficult to remove with detergent. Some abrasive cleaners also disinfect. Sanitizing. When we say sanitizing, it is a process of removing harmful bacteria using heat, water, or chemical. So different from cleaning because removing harmful bacteria we're in most commonly like COVID-19, sanitized. So, 
The term sanitary refers to the state of food contact surface or utensils where it does not contain microorganisms at the level that sanitizers are substance capable of destroying microorganisms including those bacteria that cause food poisoning and other diseases. Sanitizing method Heat There are three methods of using heat sanitized surface. Steam, hot wear, and hot air. Hot water. When we say hot water, it is the most common method used in the restaurant. If hot water is used in the third compartment or three compartment zinc, it must be at least seven, 171 parent height or 77 degrees Celsius. If high temperature where washing, where washing machine is used, to sanitize cleaning dishes, the final sanitizing range must be at least 180 Fahrenheit, 82 degrees Celsius per stationary rack. Single temperature machine, it must be at least 165 degrees Celsius per Clean item must be exposed to these temperatures for at least 30 seconds. So for 30 seconds. Chemicals. Chemical is or that are approved sanitizer are chlorine, iodine, and quaternary ammonium. Different factors influencing effectiveness of chemical sanitizer, the three factors must be considered are microorganism, too much can be dangerous. Temperature. Chemical sanitizer work best in water that is between 55 degrees Fahrenheit or 13 degrees Celsius and 120 Fahrenheit or 14 degrees Celsius. Contact time. In order for the sanitizer to kill harmful microorganisms, the clean item must be in contact with the sanitizer, either heat or approved chemical for the recommended length of time. So approved chemical sanitizer, chlorine, iodine, injures quaternary ammonium. So that is the approved chemical sanitizer. Chemical sanitizer solution. So chemical chlorine, 50 ppm. Part per million in a water, 7 seconds, iodine. 12.5 or 25 ppm in water, that is at least 75 parentite. Quart quaternary ammonium compound. Up to 200 ppm in water, that is at least 75 parentite. 1 tablespoon tablespoon mix with one gallon of water 30 seconds so what's more activity two: identification direction a identify each statement below whether the process is cleaning or sanitizing write your answers in your TLE notebook okay so two answers either sanitize or cleaning direction B identify what is referred to each statement choose your answers in the box below Write your answers in your TLA notebook. So choose your answers on the box. Okay. Then dishwashing method. What's new? The pictures below show unwashed dirty di dirty dishes. If you were to if you were asked to wash them from lightly to heavily soiled dishes, what would be your first and last dish to wash? Number your answers from one to five. Okay, then what's it? Three sink dishwashing method. Scrap food from the utensils and pot. Wash in the clean hot soapy water. Rinse in clean water not lower than 40 degrees Celsius or 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Sanitize in clean hot water at least 77 degrees Celsius or 170 degrees Fahrenheit for 45 seconds air dry on a corrosion resistant draining rocks okay the three zinc dishwashing method the first is scrub wash rinse then sanitize then the last is air dry note for sanitizing procedures follow the recommended chemical solution of using chlorine quaternary ammonium and iodine so that is the cleaning in dishes kitchen utensils by hand
The first is remove the leftover food. The second is fill your sink halfway with hot water. The third is work lightly to heavily soil dishes. Then four, wash your dishes under water with a sponge or dishcloth. Then fifth, rinse up the soap with clean hot water. Then six, let the dishes dry in the rack or on the clean towel. Clean dishes and kitchen tools using dishwasher machine. So same process, remove leftover. Put cup, plastic and bowls on the top shelf. Then third, load plates in the cookware and on the bottom. Put in the silverware into the compartment on the bottom racks or door. Then the fifth, fill the designated compartment with detergent must may pour use in the dishwasher. Then six, turn off dish turn on the dishwasher. Close the dishwasher door. Select the cycle that you want to run. Note, set your dishwasher in normal cycle. Set your dishwasher in delicate cycle. If your dishes are lightly soiled or if you have glassware in your dishwasher. Then last one is set your dishwasher heavy duty cycle if you if you're cleaning pot and pans. Activity 1. Copy and fill the appropriate procedures or the description to complete the diagram below. Write your answers in your TL notebook. So, okay, complete the following diagram. Activity 2. Matching type. So, match column A with column B. Write your answers on... Do the activity in your TL notebook. Then, what I can do. So, direction. You must answer the what I can do. Direction, copy the table below and put check mark in each step of washing dishes if you applied in your home. Do the activity in your TLO notebook. Okay. So, after answering the following activity on your modules, so I think you're ready to answer the assessment. So, good luck for the assessment. But first, if you were answering the assessment, first read the direction. Choose the letter of your answers. Write your answers in your TL notebook. Okay. So, if you are done answering your assignment, assessment, rather. So, I think you were done answering your modules. So, if you have any questions or query, you may ask me or con feel free to contact me on my numbers that is indicated on your modules then that's all thank you